Before we get too heavily into our little presentation this morning, my little presentation, I wanted to go ahead and wish those of you who are celebrants of the Christmas season a wonderful Christmas Eve. I hope you're having a good day today, and I hope you're at least enjoying your time off if you're not getting another good thing out of it. A couple of days ago, we talked about women. Yesterday, we discussed men. Today, I'd like to take the time to talk about their combination in a very special endeavor. Hello, this is the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I am your host. I'm Kurt. Today is December the 24th of 2020, and as I say, today is Christmas Eve. That means tomorrow, Friday the 25th of the December of 2020, will be Christmas Day. Uh, wishing you uh, good holidays one way and another. A Merry Christmas if you are a celebrant of Christmas. And I w welcome those aboard who are coming up, who are watching on Rumble, who are, uh, you know, listening on the podcast or watching on YouTube. And I want to talk, as I say today, about a particularly important subject. The subject is parenting. Each of us, well, okay, let's start from the beginning. You may be young, you may be past your days of acting as a parent in the way of dealing with young children and so forth, or even, even young adults. Uh, but there are those in a place where they have a very special role that they are in a position to deal with. And that position is parents, is being a parent, okay? And it's, a, it's not an easy job. And each of us has the various things that we need to do as a parent when we're in that position. No two parental roles are the same. No two parents deal with the same situations, circumstances, things that happen in the time that they act as parents. Some are tasked with doing the job in a singular fashion. Some are uh, have other people who help in that process, who they can agree with them helping. Pretty much everybody has somebody, some other people helping them in the process, whether it's daycare workers or teachers or whatever it happens to be, helping along in the parental process. But the point is, when you are in that position of parenting, you're in a very, very special role. More, It's even more special in my mind than a teacher because most teachers, if they're lucky, they get eight or ten years with a kid. But in reality, most of them, what they get is a year or two years. And then they really don't deal with a kid again. They don't see that kid again. So as a parent, you're in a very special role where from the time they're very young, children are very young, to the time they're you know, probably teenagers, it depends on the kid, sometimes teenagers, sometimes before that, sometimes later, sometimes longer than that, you are in a position where you have to deal with those children. And here's the thing. You should do your best to, to be a parent to your child despite what others, particularly the other parent or parents involved, in that situation uh, do. You should do your best job. You should be the best parent that you can be regardless whether or not the other parent is a horrible parent. In fact, in a sense, if the other parent is a horrible parent, you should work that much harder to be a good parent so that your children have at least one good parent. Now, if the other parent is a good parent, that's great, and maybe you won't have to work as hard, though I suggest to you that it's probably a good idea to do so anyway. I'm just going to say that one thing about being a parent that I think a lot of people miss is that they will abdicate their role as a parent. They will abdicate the responsibility as a parent. They will step away from that responsibility and allow it to be someone else's. Let me just tell you, my kids have teachers. They're not parents. My kids have had daycare workers. They are not parents. My responsibility and my authority as a parent is uniquely mine, and I should always maintain that role, that responsibility. You are, whether you think so or not, one of a couple, maybe a few in some instances, primary role models 
for your child. And you should assume that you're the only one. Not because it's true, but because in doing so, you present a person who is that much more a role model for your children, that much more a person they can look up to and, and, and say good things, think good things, remember good things, say good things about, right? So you should act as if you are the only role model for your child. Now, Again, does that mean that they won't have as good or better, better a role model and the other parent that's involved in the situation, hoping that you have both parents involved? No, it doesn't mean that. But like I say, at the same time, what it does mean is that in you, they should have the best possible role model you can be. Now, let me just point something out. Every one of us has problems, has things wrong with us has situations that are not so great in our lives, has things that we deal with that we'd really rather not deal with. Every one of us is, by the way, I think in some measure, broken. We all have our brokennesses. And what you need to understand is, if you are not very careful, it is entirely likely that your brokenness will end up being a window into the future for your children. You know, that's that's a reality and that's something that you should face as a parent. The less you can demonstrate your brokenness, the more you can tell your children, look, I'm broken in this way or that way. You shouldn't think that this is good, right, or something that you want to do or be. The better you can do that, the better, the better you can make it plain, look, I'm broken this or that way, and the better you can uh, uh, overcome your brokenness, the, the better the chances that your children's future will be good, okay? Look, it's obvious. It's obvious. Nobody's perfect. None of us is perfect. You may look at people and go, oh, that person looks like they're all together. They're really amazing or whatever. And they may look like that, but you need to understand that every one of them, if they tell, tell their tale, the tale that they will tell will not be one of perfect perfection, of being perfect, right? It won't be one of perfection. We know that we're not perfect. Okay, we all know that. And this is something that I've said over and over again, and I'm going to say it again right here, right now. The fact that you are or are not perfect well, you're not, right? The fact that you're not perfect doesn't mean you shouldn't be working towards that perfection, that, that, that best person. That's what you should be spending your time doing, whether you think so or not. And that's particularly true for parents. Parents are a window to the world for their children. When you go nowhere with your children, when you guys stay at home, when people stay at home, you're their parents. You're what they see. When you go to the laundromat, you're their parent. You're what they see. When you cook them dinner, you're their parent. You're what they see. When you explode in anger, something that I have a little bit of a problem with sometimes, I've gotten a lot better about this over the course of time, but I still have this as a problem. You are their parent and they see you. And I see it in my son. I see in my son that he's, he's mirroring what he sees in me. And I realize that he's going to get upset regardless. And I work very hard to try and make it known to him that I, A, recognize that he has, he's going to get upset and that, B, it's okay for him to be upset, but that, C, he should respond reasonably when he does that. In the end, what it comes down to is this. As a parent, you have a very special, very significant role with your child. Whether you do it alone, whether you do it with another parent, whether you've got some other people who help you out, whether they're friends, family members, school teachers, uh, you know, uh, educators of other sorts, team sports leadership of some sorts, whoever it happens to be, there, may, there are going to be other people to help. But remember that you are the primary person and you and your husband, wife, whatever, are, you know, whatever it happens to be who helps to raise that children on an ongoing basis, you are the primary models for that child. Okay, I'm about out of time. Again, today is uh, 
December the 24th. It's Thursday of 2020, and it is Christmas Eve. Hope you're having a good day. I uh, hope you're having good time off, assuming that you're able to take that time off. For those of you that are working, I want to thank you for those of us that are not, not and hope in times in the future that you'll be able to take that time to do the things that you would like to do with your family, because it's really pretty important that you do that. Okay, so uh, hoping that everything is going well for you. Hope you have a good Christmas. I'll probably go ahead and try and do a daily summation for tomorrow, Friday, the 25th of December of 2020. That would be Christmas Day. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. I'm hoping that you will have a good day, and hopefully we will see you again tomorrow. The speaker on this edition of the Daily Summation is Kurt Schubert. This video is recorded on Thursday, the 24th of December of 2020, Christmas Eve. The Daily Summation is created for Kurt's religion and politics. Thanks for watching this edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I hope you found it entertaining or instructional or maybe both. Uh, if you want to see more from me, you can go to blogs.kpshubert.com. That's blogs.kpshubert.com. I am on Twitter, Parlor, and Minds.com. My handle on each of those is at kpshubert. That's at kpshubert. I have a Rumble and a YouTube channel. They are the Kurt's Re Religion and Politics channels on Rumble and YouTube. I have a Facebook page. The Facebook page is Kurt's Religion and Politics as well. I have I am on Patreon. If you want to support me, that's one of the better places you can do that. And you will find me at Kurt's Religion and Politics on Patreon. I have a podcast. The podcast is podcasts with, a, with an S dot kpshubert dot com. That's podcasts dot kpshubert dot com. I think you should be able to find me with relative ease on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify as well. The best way I find to do that is to look for Kurt's Religion and Politics. You can try to use the daily summation. I find that it doesn't work as well as a general rule, but you can always try that. I'm glad to have you aboard today, and hopefully we will see you again tomorrow.